Okay, so we are talking about uh, the Boolean algebra, and it is your chapter number two. And then chapter number two, you can see that Boolean algebra, and the the very first thing that you need to learn in the Boolean algebra is the logical operator. And there are three logical operators. One is and, the second one is or, and the third one is not. There are three logical operators: and, or, and not. So and is actually a series circuit, and it is drawn by this shape. And it's it is in Boolean algebra it is called product, and it is denoted by dot. And or is a parallel circuit, and it is denoted it is represented by this shape, this kind of shape. And it is uh, written as uh, in Boolean algebra it is as sum, and it is written it is denoted by plus sign. While the not is inverted, it is called inverted. What it do? It it just invert the expression. Whatever is provided, given to it, and the shape is like this. This is not shape. And this is uh, it is in Boolean algebra or in the logical Boolean algebra we call it complement. It is a complement. It is called complement. And when it is complement. We use the sign, this sign, on the on the shape. Okay, so these are the logical operators, and these are the uh, the key logical operator which are uh, used in the in the Boolean algebra. Now talking about the first one, and that is and and gate. This is and gate, which is uh, which is the product. We call it. Product Boolean algebra. Okay, so how we use it? And as I said, that the shape is like this. We draw it like this. And uh, so these are the inputs A and B, for example, A and B, and this is X. And uh, this gate is is a product. So uh, when we now every gate can be uh, can be checked by by having the table help of the gate, okay? So like uh, uh, for example, we have uh, the values is a and b, a and b, and what we'll get out of it is x. So if a is zero. So will if we have two now we have two entries two raised to power two. So we have when we have two entries like zero 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 one one zero and one one. This is how we can fill it. And uh, the result of these if one is off and the other one is off. The result is off. Product means when we multiply. Now we can say that a dot b is zero. So if any number, if zero is multiplied by zero, what is? I will write it again. So if zero dot zero is equal to zero, when we multiply zero with zero, we get zero. So when zero is multiplied with one. It will give zero. One is multiplied with zero. It will give zero. And when one is multiplied with one, it will give one. So same we will write here: zero, zero, one. In AND gate, only we get one when both inputs are one. This is how we uh, we express this in terms of Boolean algebra. This is Boolean algebra. So we are presenting in Boolean algebra. Okay, now if we want to see the same thing with the to, uh, with the logical with the logical operator or the uh, logical expression, so we can see that the series, as I said, it is a series and is a series. Series means the circuit is it will have like this. So if the circuit is open, now you can see. So the current will not flow unless both the both the loops are not closed. So, in order to 
make this bulb glow what you need to do the both will be should be closed it means only when you have both these loops are closed only then you can get the value so in order to get this bulb is on what we need to do is that this is connected and this is connected so it means they both are on if one is on other is off is one is off other is on you will never never get the bulb on so it means one one is one so this is how we prove it with the help of series circuit series circuit so and is actually a series circuit okay then the second one is now the or gate the second one is or gate or gate may what happens in or gate is actually sum it is a sum or gate is a sum okay so sum as i told you sum is uh, in boolean expression so in boolean algebra we call it sum and or gate in in logical uh, or the logical gate term it is it is a parallel circuit it is a parallel circuit it is a parallel circuit so when it is a parallel circuit it means uh, so it is a parallel circuit and when it is a parallel circuit it it, it actually gives us uh, the way i will show you if we first see the truth table now the design of the or gate is like i told you that it is like this we have the circuit is like this okay, so we have a b and x and it means if we draw so we have so this is a this is b and this is x so again we have 0 0 how we fill it 1 1 0 1 Zero one. So this is how we fill it. So as I said, it is a sum. So it means zero plus zero gives zero. Zero plus one gives one. One plus zero gives one. And one plus one in in Boolean in binary numbers, you know, uh, we cannot exceed from one. So one plus one is two, but we have one. One is carried. Okay, so one plus one is actually one. So means on and on is on. We will here one means turn on. Here one means on. So if they both are on, the result is on. So we can write like this: zero, one, one, one. So this is this is the truth table of OR gate. This is how the truth table is represented. Now uh, it can also be shown uh, with the help of a uh, circuit so we can draw the circuit as well so this is how so we can draw it like this so this is the bulb now you can see you can see that uh, here if let's say any one of them is on let's say this is on the current will flow and the bulb will turn on if this is on the bulb will from here the bulb will go from here will reach here if any track is if both are off only then the current will not flow if any one is on the current will make it route to reach here so that is why it is called sum and you can see that any one is on you get on if both are off you get off okay
so this is all about your and the third one is your now third one is the inverted and uh, not yet not yet okay just let me draw that as well and the third one is the not gate what the not gate do not gate is shown by this this shape and it is actually called inverter or it is called complement in boolean what the complement do you know complement inverse it reverse the value so here we will have a and here we will have x so the truth table is like this a and x so a is 0 and x is 1 if a is 1 x is 0 so the reverse of it we write like this if a is v we also write a we represent it like this a complement and here in uh, if we represent the the and gate is written by a dot b and is written like this or is written by a plus b okay and not gate is written by a complement let's write like this so this is all uh, these three gates are i'm sure the concept is clear and uh, this the same you will study in your in your syllabus okay